Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to have you here. This is part two of the power of system events on ServiceNow. In the first video, we learned what system events are, how to leverage them with GS.EventQueue, and which components in ServiceNow would react to the generated event. This time we'll cover GS.EventQueue Schedule. The GS.EventQueue scheduled function does the exact same thing as GSEventQueue, but takes one more parameter, the date you want the event to be processed. Now you have the ability to cast an event into the future! And speaking of the future, there's a survey in the description of this video. Take the survey in the description of this video. Let's use my request as an example. We know the GS event queue function takes the following arguments. GS event queue scheduled looks like this. So how would I construct that function in order to remind you 10 minutes after you watch the video? Well, I'd first create an event called survey reminder, which is what I'd trigger. Then I'd refer to the record in question, this video. I still have two parameters of my choosing, so I'm gonna pick parm1 to be you, the viewer. Then parm2 will be the text that says take the survey. And the last parameter we'll need is a date time, which is my estimate of 10 minutes after the time you viewed the video. Then, just like in the last video, I'd have either notifications or script actions to perform an action. But here's the thing, when is it going to perform the action? Here's an example of the event queue containing one event fired using GS event queue and another fired by GS event queue schedule. Notice the difference? There's a process on call, and the one that used GS event queue scheduled will clearly be fired in the future. The ultra savvy among you may also notice that I've fired the exact same event, but because I used event queue scheduled, only that one will process in the future. And this is when Rory from Nort comes in and says, yeah, but Robert, can't we just use scheduled job for that? Well, yes, you can if you hate nuance and precision. Look, scheduled jobs are awesome, but there's circumstances where a scheduled event is much, much better. And here's two easy ways to help you decide, purpose and precision. If the purpose is to send notifications, you're probably better off just using event queue schedule, since you're going to need to fire an event from a scheduled job anyway if you want notifications to launch. Precision. Let's say you want something to happen exactly four hours after something else. How is a scheduled job going to help you since it's run on fixed time intervals? With event queue schedules, you can guarantee that the event processes on whatever precise date you want, down to the millisecond. And now you know everything you need to know about GS.EventQueue Scheduled. If this video is helpful, please take a survey in the description. If you need ServiceNow guidance with the passion and understanding demonstrated here, check the description for how to contact me. Thanks for watching.